Hey there everybody, meteorologist Chris Michaels here with another episode of Weather Homeschool where we're at least going to attempt to make our own snow even though we haven't seen a whole lot of it here over the course of the winter or early this spring. So a few things we're going to need, at least this is what we're going to try, is some baking soda. So you'll have to go into the pantry and uh, try and find some baking soda. We'll probably need enough to fill a, a cup, a cup and a half. So we'll give that a try first. And just like we did when we were making the uh, rain cloud in the episode seven, we're gonna need some shaving cream. So we kept on to that and also a bowl that we can mix it all in. So those are just the three simple things you need. Also maybe a fork, that way you can kind of stir the mixture. So let's get to it and see if we can make it work. All right, so our first step is to take the baking soda. We're gonna try and measure this out as best as we possibly can. And some of it is gonna spill over here, but we're gonna get about a cup of baking soda. We're gonna throw it on into this bowl. All right, so once you do that, we're gonna take some of this shaving cream, which I've been told you can also take about a cup of that. So we're gonna take our measuring cup right here, kind of fill it up a cup of the way, give or take a little bit, kind of pour it on down, use our fork to help get some of the excess out. And then instead of using a spoon, what we're gonna try and do is mix it all in together. So we'll take a quick time lapse here and hopefully at the end, we've got some snowballs for you. Okay, so we're learning a few things about this. Number one, it does kind of look snowy, I guess you could say. One thing I might have done differently is taken the baking soda and actually frozen it beforehand or just taken the mixture and froze it after uh, making it. But let's see if we can get, and the texture is, is definitely different than just baking soda and, uh, and shaving cream, but let's see if we can actually make it into a little bit of a snowball. It's a little tougher to do but you can kind of see the fine texture here. But what this reminds us is that you need two different things in order to make snow. You can't just have the moisture, you gotta have the cold air. So I may have left out some of the cold here, but give it a try at home. Let me know if it works for you. Just try and maybe freeze it a little bit for about a day or so. Let me know if it works and uh, maybe send me a picture if you've got it. But thank you guys for uh, tuning in for this episode of Weather Homeschool. I'm meteorologist Chris Michaels and me and my messy hands, we'll see you next time.